Hey friend, welcome to On The Daily. I'm your host, Danielle McCleary, and I am a quantum business coach. I'm the host of this podcast. I'm a multi six figure entrepreneur, co founder, and president of Hype You Media and CEO of Danielle on the Daily Coaching. What I'm really interested in is helping you live a life and have a business that is a full body yes. So, through all of my education and all of my experience, I'm bringing you two episodes a week where I will guide you and give you the tools necessary to scale a massive, sustainable, and sexy business using your intuition, wealth energetics, and human design. What we can call it is business biohacking. So if you're down for that, then I say, let's fricking go. I'm so glad you're here. Hi friends, welcome back on this fine Friday or whenever you're listening to this episode. I'm going to tell you about Hype University and Hype U Media today. I launched a new company with my business partner, who's also my podcast producer. Um, We launched a new business, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I'm also going to tell you about the reticulating activating uh, reticular activating system. Wow, say that five times fast. I'm going to tell you about that because this is something that I think everybody needs to learn, um, and not enough people do. So I'm going to tell you about that. We're going to have some fun today. Uh, Before I do that, I have two masterminds launching on March 1st. One is Launch With Power, which I currently have. This is a current mastermind that is currently eight weeks. Starting March 1st, it's going to be a rolling mastermind, which you can be a part of for six or 12-month commitments, which may seem like a long time, and it is. However, what I'm realizing is like when we're talking about launching a business, scaling a business, expanding a business, doing something with your business that is different from what it is now, this is not something that can just be done overnight, nor should it be, because you're building a business with staying power, which means that you need to commit to it like it has staying power. And committing to long-term mentorship while growing a business, I think is a non-negotiable. And so I kind of had this moment where I was like, well, why am I only doing an eight-week mastermind then when this is actually something that we should be talking about for months? So this will be a rolling mastermind starting March 1st. Currently, you can get pre-sale pricing for that. The price is going to go up. Currently, it is very low per month. You can pay per month. You can sign up for six months. If you are an entrepreneur launching or scaling or expanding a business, you need not sleep on this container, especially if like you're not ready for private mentorship or if, you know, and if you're at that point where you've been taking a lot of like of my programs or you've been taking a lot of a coach's like group programs or masterclasses and you don't feel like it's enough, it's time to up your game and it's time to step into higher level mentorship. That's your sign. So that's one of them. The second one is called the Return to Personal Power Mastermind. And this is this mastermind is all about main character energy. We're starting it at 12 weeks. We are going to kind of like get back to this leadership with ourselves. So personal leadership, personal power. I call it feminine leadership. And feminine leadership is this return to this insatiable desire to stand in your own power, to attuned to a different frequency than the one that is fed to you and sold to you every single day, which involves scarcity and lack and fear of everything and panic always and being angry at everybody, blaming the world for your lack of success. And we are getting over that. We're going to step into a new frequency and you can do that with other people having those same conversations. You don't even need to be an entrepreneur for this container. Um, We are also in pre-sale pricing for that. And as soon as we drop the branding in a few days, that price is going to go up as well. So if you want either of those, you can go to my website at daniellemcleary.com slash work with me. You can also come to my Instagram and I can send you the link there. You can also click the link in our show notes, lots of places to get it. But two new masterminds. It's going to be exciting. March, February, March are going to be, well, February is amazing so far. March is going to be amazing because I'm getting married also. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about Hype University. So, or let's talk about Hype U Media. So my friend Chase and I, who Chase is my podcast producer, he runs Upstarter Podcast Network, which is a podcast production company. He came to me and was like, I think we need to start a business. And I think it needs to be like a podcast network for entrepreneurs. And this was like music to my ears because as an entrepreneur, I knew that joining like a typical podcasting network would probably never be in the cards for me because a lot of those networks require you to become an employee of that company and require you to 
kind of sell your intellectual property rights, to sell some of your creative control over your show. And oftentimes people that are that have podcasts on uh, those kind of networks, they're not coaches. They are celebrities, public figures, comedians, authors, things like that, that have like a full other career. And so m- being paid by a podcast network as an employee and just like producing their content, they basically become content creators for these companies. That's awesome for them. Like that's an incredible business model and an incredible extra stream of income for these people. However, it doesn't include entrepreneurs. It doesn't include those of us who have podcasts, but are entrepreneurs at heart, who have businesses, who are coaches, who are product-based business owners, who are public speakers, right? It doesn't include us. And we're, I'm not selling my intellectual property rights to anybody. I'm not giving up creative control of my show because I use my show as a funnel to my business. So of course I'm not going to sell that. And so we kind of saw this gap in the marketplace and really wanted to create something for people who wanted to be a part of a, co- a cross-promotional platform but not have to give up their rights. And so Hype You Media was born, which is kind of this entry point to high level education for entrepreneurs who are at the beginning to middle stages of their journey. Maybe you're just in that phase where you're trying to try a different, trying a bunch of different courses from a bunch of different coaches. You're getting your feet wet. You're trying to grow your business. And so what we are doing is we are bringing together about eight to start different podcast hosts all in the realm of entrepreneurship in four different pillars. So our pillars are innovation, strategy, leadership, and energetics. So we think these are like four very essential pillars of entrepreneurship, especially entrepreneurship in this digital age, in this new paradigm where people are wanting to work for themselves and they don't want to be ruled by, you know, their limiting beliefs and the trauma that's held them back. It's basically everything I talk about on this show. And so We're bringing together eight hosts that are all representative of these four pillars, and we're going to put it together on one network. So you, as an entrepreneur, can learn and you can grow your business and you can get this, get access to this like free content. And then eventually we'll be launching Hype University attached to that, which will be a low ticket entry point to high level infinite education in the entrepreneurship space with our hosts who are probably also coaches and charge very good money for their courses. You're going to be able to come into our membership platform and pay a low ticket offer per year to hear trainings every week. Um, That's coming later. The reason I'm telling you this is because maybe you are a podcast host and you listen to this show and you're like, I want to be a part of a network like that. Now's your time to reach out to us. Email us. You can email me at hey at daniellemcleary.com. You can tell me that you're interested. I also have put like a form to fill out on my show notes. Um, I also ha- can, you can come to my Instagram and I can send you the, the interest form. If you are a coach and you have a podcast and you want to use your podcast to funnel back to your business and you treat your podcast as I do, like a free piece of free content to give your audience a taste of what it would be like to work with you. We want to hear from you. If you are in the pillars of entrepreneurship, whether it be strategy, leadership, if you're a manifestation coach, if you're a public speaking coach, if you're a finance coach and you have a podcast, I want to hear from you. We're very excited. We have about half of our, now a little over half of our roster full. We are not in a hurry. We are trying to get the right people so we can launch with the right lineup. And our vibe is everyone can win. We don't want to take your rights. We don't want to take your ad revenue. We want to help you build your show and in turn help us grow hype you. The vibe is everyone can win. And I just really believe that. I don't believe in business. It needs to be if I do well, you can't anymore. I think we can all win. And that's what we're doing with Hype University. And I really do believe it'll be the collective to join for like-minded entrepreneurs looking to grow their businesses, looking to grow their shows, looking to grow their network. And for entrepreneurs looking for that and like act, looking for access to infinite education at a low ticket. So that's Hype You Media. We're on, we're on Instagram at Hype You underscore media, H-Y-P-E, the letter U underscore media. Come follow us. Come see what we're about. Our captions kind of tell our story right now. If you go to our Instagram and you click on each post and read the captions, we really are telling stories in the captions. So come and hang out with us. We have Well Spirit Collective, which is a social media branding marketing agency running our, our social media. And they're 
pretty incredible. So we're excited and we want to hear from you if you want to be on this ride with us. The reticulating, retic- why do I always say reticulating? The reticulate, reticulator activating system. Re- no, reticular activating system. Wow. I can talk, I promise. The reticular activating system. Okay. You might have heard this a lot in manifestation. And a lot of manifestation coaches will talk about this. What the reticular activating system is, is like a network of neurons in your brainstem. So kind of like near the hypothalamus at like kind of in the cortex of your brain. And in manifestation terms, what it basically does is it filters information and decides what's going to stay in your conscious brain and what's going to stay in your unconscious brain. And it is so important and not a lot of people know about this and they should because it is literally running your life. Let me explain. When I started in network marketing, okay, that was like where I started my entrepreneurship journey. I have since stopped obviously stopped building a network marketing business and have focused on my business. But when I started in my network marketing business, there was the opportunity to earn a white Mercedes Benz. And as soon as I decided that I wanted that car, I said it out loud. I met it, I manifested it. And so what my reticulating, reticulator, reticular activating system did is said, okay, let's do that then. So then every single place I went every day, I saw, yep, a white Mercedes Benz. Everywhere I went, I saw them and they were always there. It's just now my, that space between my conscious and unconscious brain, the RAS as it's called, said, we need to, this is what we want. So I'm going to see it everywhere. And I did. I saw it literally everywhere until I got it. And I stopped seeing them everywhere because now I had it and it was just part of my existence. So this happens in things that we want. This is why it's like lucky girl syndrome. Like, oh, I'm just lucky, I guess. Like good things always happen to me. It's not lucky. It's just that your your RAS, your reticular activating system has decided that it's going to show you more of what you want or more of what you're thinking right? Because it doesn't just show you more of what you want. It'll also show you what you don't want. And I'm going to explain that. And this is where people let it control their lives. So if I wanted, like, let's say I wanted to, okay, here's an example. I wanted, I, I just bought a cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. Okay. Like the cloud couch, the cloud couch, that's the couch that we're putting in our house. And I've wanted one for years. I've always said that when I build a house, when I, you know, when we do that, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy the $10,000 RH cloud couch. Everyone tried to talk me out of it. Okay. Because in my mind, it always felt like a someday, like someday when I have the money, someday when I'm rich, someday when I build a house, right? It's here now. Like I obviously do make very good money. I am a wealthy woman. I have built a house and I absolutely can afford the restoration hardware cloud couch. But everyone, I, I don't, I think up until literally yesterday when I bought this couch, everybody had convinced me that I didn't want it. And I think what had happened is my Raz, even though I wanted it, what I was thinking most was, oh my gosh, like how am I ever going to afford that? Like, is it really worth it? Do I really need that? Right. And so what my Raz did in that situation was give me all of the reasons. It just provided me like proof after proof that that was not the couch for me. And like people would always tell me, you don't want that couch. That couch is really hard to maintain. That card's, that couch is really hard to take care of. It's going to get dirty. It's really hard to fluff. Like you're going to have to fluff it all the time because it's a down couch and all these things. And I started to believe it. I was like, oh yeah, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I don't want the cloud couch. Okay. So I had literally convinced myself that I didn't want one to the point where we even picked out a different couch. We literally picked out a different couch from four hands, which was still a very nice couch. We had picked it out and I was like, this is a great couch. It's probably better than the cloud couch. That is what I had convinced myself of, right? Until I went with my friend, Brady, who's our designer. We went to Restoration Hardware. I walked in there. I sat down on this couch and my whole body lit up, like full body, yes, to the nth degree. And I was like, I want this couch. 
but I can't get this couch. This couch, and I'm like repeating this to Brady. I was like, it's hard to take care of. It's high maintenance. It's this. And he goes, is it more high maintenance than your multi-million dollar business? Is it more high maintenance than some of your clients? No. And I was like, no, it's not. And he goes, and like a lot of people that say that can't afford it. And I was like, oh. And in that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, my Raz has just been showing me all of the quote proof, end quote, that I wanted to prove to me that I didn't want that couch. Even though what I actually wanted was the couch, I just didn't believe that I was worthy of the couch. And so in that moment, I switched immediately. And now, since then, I've been seeing all of the proof, all of the proof that the couch was always meant for me and I should have bought the couch. So the reason I'm telling you this is because we will let our RAS control us because if we are living in scarcity, if we are living in fear, if we are stuck in a loop of limiting beliefs in our business, in our life, in our relationships with ourself, the RAS is only going to take that information and go, oh, oh, okay. So that's what you want then. And it's going to just keep showing you examples of why something's not meant for you, or it's going to keep bringing you back to the loop, the reason why you're stuck. And I just don't think that we need to live like that. And I think it's really important to know what your RAS is even though I can't, even though apparently I can't pronounce it, uh, you need to know what the reticular activating system is so that when you continually get like what you think is proof that something's not meant for you, is that true? Or is that just what your RAS believes and therefore that's what it's showing you? Because what if you gave your RAS different instructions? What if you were like, actually, I really do want this couch. Actually, I really do want this life. Actually, that is the relationship I want to have. Actually, that is the amount of money I want to make. Actually, then maybe it's going to show you proof of that instead. So this is just something I want you to think about because you'll get stuck. You'll, you like, it's shocking to me how many people don't lead themselves because they just are looking for proof that something is not meant for them. And they're looking outside of themselves for proof that something's not meant for them instead of just listening to their intuition and being like, yeah, this is meant for me. Of course this is meant for me. And like leading yourself, by the way, that's not the destination. That's a baseline. That's the baseline, like being able to lead yourself through big, big conversations, through big decisions, that's baseline. And it's amazing to me how many people are even like wobbly in that. I was talking to a friend about this, another coach, and we were saying like how crazy it is that even that is wobbly, but that should be your baseline, right? That's not the destination. That's the baseline. And then because we're so far from that as a collective, when we meet people that are doing that as a baseline, we take it as an attack to us, which is not true, right? It's like why I say, and I've been posting about this, like you don't think that person, like that person does not think that they're better than you. You think that they're better than you and you're mad about it because you're not leading yourself, because you're stuck in this fear paradigm of scarcity and lack and being angry at everyone. And, you know, everything should be a panic and you should always be under stress and you should always have anxiety. And you do, you listen to that. And then your RAS gives you proof of it everywhere you go. But what if instead you actually remembered that you are meant for abundance and actually like what is meant for someone could also be meant for you and what's meant for you can't miss. And you actually start to give your RAS different rules so that you start to believe different things and you start to receive proof of different things. I really believed that I wanted and that car, I deserved that car, which is why I saw it everywhere I went. But when I first wanted this couch, I didn't probably believe that I deserved the couch or that I was worthy of the couch. And so I got proof everywhere around me of why I shouldn't. When in reality, my whole body lit up like a freaking light bulb when I sat on that couch, like getting that couch was absolutely the right choice. So I hope this was helpful. Come find me on Instagram. Let's talk about it. If you liked this episode, share it with someone, share it to your Instagram. I love when you tag me. It's like literally my favorite thing to read about how this show impacts you. And if uh, you go to Apple Podcasts and you go to my show and write a review and leave us a rating, a five-star rating, screenshot it for me and send it to me and I'll give you a discount on any of my courses or my masterminds. So you can get some money off Uh, or my private mentorship. You can get a discount off of anything for that. So make sure you take advantage of that, especially if you've been wanting to jump into my world and you think that money is the reason you haven't, which by the way, I don't think it's money. I don't think the reason you haven't is because of money. I think that there's a a belief there that you are not worthy of it. And then your Raz is showing you proof through like not having enough money. So what if you change the rules, right? 
Anyway, I love you. And I'll be back on Tuesday with another episode. Bye.